It was a moment many long expected. U.S. Special Counsel Mueller on Friday accused 13 Russians of an elaborate scheme to disrupt America's 2016 presidential election. Mueller charged the Russians together with three companies with running a huge but hidden social media trolling campaign aimed in part at helping Republican Donald Trump defeat Democrat Hillary Clinton. The indictment, which has been widely described as extraordinary, represents the most detailed allegations to date of illegal Russian meddling during the campaign that gave Trump the ticket to the office. It also marks the first criminal charges against Russians who many in the U.S. suspect of having secretly worked to influence the outcome of the election. But Mueller's indictment includes no reference to any possible collusion between Russians and the Trump team. And that could provide a relief for the sitting administration in Washington, even though it could be temporary, as Mueller has announced that the investigation was still not finished. But it's been almost a year now, and he hasn't dropped a single indictment that uh, even attempts to show Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. Uh, there, there are perjury charges and uh, charges that don't relate to the election campaign whatsoever against other people. But uh, this one, it, it, it accuses 13 Russians of interfering uh, in the American election, mainly through Facebook and Twitter. Uh, but it, it says explicitly that there was no collusion with the Trump campaign. President Donald Trump, in his first reaction to Mueller's indictment, said there was no collusion between his camp and Moscow. He has also emphasized that the result of the 2016 election was not impacted by Moscow and that Russia started its anti-U.S. campaign in 2014, long before he declared his candidacy. Russia has to the same effect rejected the outcomes of the case. The country's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, has described Mueller's indictment as claptrap, emphasizing that the allegations of Russia's meddling in America's 2016 election are not substantiated. The indictment does not directly suggest collusion between the Trump campaign and Russians, but it says the meddling effort may have been aided by unwitting individuals associated with Trump's team. That opens the possibility that certain individuals in the current U.S. administration could be eventually named as culprits. None of these 13 Russians are ever likely to stand trial because Russia won't extradite them to the United States. And therefore, we'll just have this thing hanging there forever, you know, um, and yet nothing is really resolved about this Internet research agency or how much influence it actually had on the election because this is what i'd like to know it the, the things that they did these facebook ads were all over the map there was no coherence about it i have no idea what they were up to or what they were trying to do uh, but it seems most unlikely to me that they influenced anything whatsoever but um, the way this has been framed now the indictments that will never come to trial means that we'll never get any closure on this. So far, four people, including Trump's former national security advisor and former campaign chairman, have been charged in Mueller's investigation. Following Mueller's indictment, U.S. politicians on both sides of the aisle say a firm action needs to be taken to combat foreign interference in U.S. elections. Some have even called for sanctions on Moscow and said the indictments should end Trump's insistence that Russians meddling was fake news. The stakes could sooner or later rise to new highs in Washington in the wake of Mueller's investigation. At the very least, if the allegations that he has raised hold up in court, it will become increasingly difficult for Trump to argue that the Russian meddling on his behalf is an unsubstantiated hoax.
but the possibility that some members of his team would be eventually brought to the docks with charges of assisting Russian influence in the 2016 election could open a new chapter in all existing controversies against President Trump.